You add chemical weapons to the mix and officials say that's why you're hearing the president start talking about core national interests being at stake here. Lester? Oh my. Well, I just figured out this whole Syrian thing. Uh, it's all just, um, it's a distraction from the real big news story that is so tiny that it's not even on like the sites that were reporting about the nuclear catastrophe at Fukushima. I found this news, uh, the date on it was the 29th August. So yesterday, no, two days ago. And um, this is the update on the Fukushima nuclear disaster. The ocean is boiling in front of the nuclear power plant. And they say that um, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration says that the Pacific Ocean is heating up. Now, I, uh, there, there were people that were challenging this report saying that they can't find any other news on it than, you know, this one website. I found the same picture posted in a bunch of different places and they explained that there's, uh, that there's no new images because the, the steam coming up from the ocean now is so thick that they can't even take pictures through the steam. But, um, you know, obviously the atmospheric contamination by this, you know, latest uh, development at the Fukushima nuclear power plant is going to be just devastating. Um, I would, I would have doubted this story had I not noticed that the sky was just ridiculously overcast and it didn't even look like chemtrails. It looked like the whole sky was fog yesterday. And uh, I haven't seen blue sky for like a couple days now. They say that this boiling ocean situation started a couple weeks ago and that it's been getting worse and now they can't even take a picture through the steam. Uh, you know, what they're saying is that this is due to the nuclear leak, the, the leaking water, but it's not. What this is, is the meltdown uh, apparently, uh, the, the, the tunnel of it has caved in where the ocean floor has caved in to where the meltdown is now directly on ocean water. The ocean water has a path directly to the meltdown. And so the meltdown is really very literally boiling the ocean nuts I mean you know and uh, Putin he was like trying to be so helpful last week saying you know that Russia would help with the with the nuclear meltdown this week he's all talking about uh, attacking Saudi Arabia if the United States attacks Syria how does that make any sense that's according to the European Union times anyhow but um I don't know you know, this, uh, this World War III that they're about to kick off, you know, uh, it, it apparently turns out that that's what is, you know, uh, Obama is lying. And what they're doing is, uh, you know, all these world leaders, they are collaborating to, uh, to create an illusion that, uh, is going to draw attention away from this nuclear power plant situation, the boiling ocean. You know, that the, the news will be all serious civil war from like now until the end of Earth. You know, I, I shouldn't say really Syrian, Syrian civil war. It'll be World War Three. You know, that uh, I, I don't even know. You know what? I should go read that article at the European Union Times. I just browsed it real quick. I don't know what it is that, oh, you know what it probably has to do with is uh, this BS. Yeah, that's what it was. That 
the Syrian rebels accidentally exploded a, a chemical weapons warhead, but chemical weapons have no explosives. The, uh, the burst of the chemical is by the impact of the rocket with the ground, that the, the canister hits first, and that's what unleashes the chemical weapons on the, the population that's being targeted. But uh, it, there's, there's no explosives in a, in a chemical weapons warhead, and that's the recent claim, is that there's a, a chemical weapons warhead that was exploded by Syrians there were other things about that article that is just all BS, but uh, it, uh, the article from Associated Press was claiming that Saudis funded for these uh, rebels to be given chemical weapons. I just found a bunch of other news saying that the U.S. military, this is apparently old news a couple months back, but I, I just became aware of it, that uh, the Pentagon gave chemical weapons and uh, chemical weapons training to Syrian rebels. I'm not sure if it was LCIA or the FSA, but apparently they trained somebody in Syria to handle chemical weapons. And, um, you know, like the evidence uh, that points to Assad is that Assad rained artillery on the area where it had been hit by chemical weapons for days after the, the chemical weapons attack. And so, you know, it seems like, you know, he obviously had beef with somebody there, you know, he, um, you know, there was, there was some people there that he, that he was trying to kill. So, you know, that, that would lend some substance to, you know, uh, motive, you know, it, it proves that he had motive you know, if he's going to artillery shell the place, then, you know, why wouldn't he use some other means to kill people if, you know, there, there was so many people there that he was trying to kill. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Crazy times, these. But this Fukushima boiling ocean, it is a way bigger story than Syria or even World War Three. Have another look at it. It's the boiling ocean at the Fukushima nuclear power plant.